Hello everyone, this is Trajan Caesar, and today we are playing Persona 3 Portable for the PlayStation Portable. Unlike the PlayStation 2 version of this game, we get to pick between two different characters, one a guy, another a girl. This wasn't a feature in the PlayStation 2 version of this game. And it adds new, a new dynamic to the way this game is played. I never played through this game before, but I have seen my friends play through this game about two years ago. So let's get right into this. We'll start off We'll play the guy character. And how about normal difficulty? I just put it to my head, pull the trigger, no chickening out. No, I can't. Due to a malfunction in the switching system, today's rail schedule has been greatly altered. We apologize to any customers who are in a hurry. The next stop is Iwa Todai. Iwa Todai. This is the final train bound for Tatsumi Port Island. Please take care to board before our departure. about the atmosphere seems odd. Yeah, all the lights dimming and turning green is, is not something you would normally expect late at night unless there's... unless that's how the lights are. Mm -hmm. It would probably be best to hurry to the dorm. This certainly looks like a great situation. It's an eerily gigantic moon. I'd be more worried about all the coffins lying around, you know? Get 
Echo Con High School, Uatodai dorm. This is the dorm mentioned in your admission pamphlet. Welcome. That's not creepy at all. You're late. I've been waiting a long time. Like I said, that's not creepy at all. An unknown boy is holding a piece of paper out to you. If you want to proceed, then please sign here. It's a contract. Can I read it over first? I don't want to sign a contract without reading the fine print, especially from creepy spirit kids like yourself. <laughs> That's at least what I'd say in this situation. There's no need to be scared. Sure there isn't. It only binds you to accepting full responsibility for your actions. Oh, like that's such a light thing. Nothing to worry about at all. Well, time to put our name in. Very well. Time is something no one can escape. It delivers us all to the same end. Wishing won't make it go away. And so it begins. Who's there? Housekeeping. How can you be... But it's... Don't tell me. The girl is holding something that looks like a gun. Wait! <gasps> the lights! Blinded by the lights. <laughs> I didn't think you'd arrive so late. My name is Mitsuru Kirijo. I'm one of the students who live in the storm. Who's he? He's a transfer student. It was a last-minute decision to assign him here. He'll eventually be moved to a room in the boys' dorm. Is it okay for him to be here? I guess we'll see. This is Yukari Takeba. She'll be a junior this spring, just like you. Hi, I'm Yukari. Um, let's be diplomatic. Act normal. Pleasure to meet you. Uh, yeah. Nice to meet you, too. It's getting late, so you should get some rest. Your room's on the second floor at the end of the hallway. Your things should already be there. Oh, I'll show you the way. Follow me. Dormitory, second floor hallway at the furthest door. This is it. Pretty easy to remember, huh? Since it's right at the end of the hall. So, any questions? I'll ask about the contract. Huh? What's this about a contract? You didn't sign one? What contract? Your party doesn't seem to know what you're talking about. Um... Can I ask you something? On your way here from the station, was everything okay? What do you mean by okay? You know what I... Never mind. It seems like you're alright. Well, I better get going. Um... I'm sure you still have other questions, but let's save them for later, okay? Good night!
guess we're tabling that for now. So dance, wanna put you in a trance, let's party. I guess I can't sleep with the TV on. Oh. It's Yukari! Are you awake? No. Hello? Please answer the door or I'll get in trouble. Good morning. Did you sleep okay? Mitsuru Sunpai asked me to take you to school. Are you ready to go? Okay, then let's go. We have to take the monorail to get there. Bet your last school wasn't like that, huh? This is my favorite part, when it feels like you're gliding over the sea. Our stop is Port Island Station at the end of the line. From there, we walk. Have you ever heard of Tatsumi Port Island? It's a man-made island. They built our school right in the middle. Oh look, you can see it now! I do like the aesthetic around here with the trees and the nice more modern building. Morning! Well, here we are! Welcome to Gekukon High! You're gonna love it here! You're okay from here, right? You should go see your homeroom teacher first. The faculty office is right there to the left. And that concludes the tour. Do you have any questions before I go? Eh, what class are you in? Me? I don't know. I haven't looked at the classroom assignments yet. Hey! About last night, don't tell anyone what you saw, okay? See you later! have the worst teacher ever. Huh. The faculty office. Um, I think it's that way. Actually, I'm new here. So you should probably ask someone else. What? I don't see my name here. What should I do? What should I do? Um, look at the board again, or go to the faculty office. There's no need for them to post the names of the kids who are going to be in our class. I mean, we'll never see them again after we graduate, right? Eh. It's always good to stay in contact. Oh, there it is, Class F, huh? Taught by... What? Miss Toriumi? Uh, well, she is older than me, but... I was hoping for Miss Kanao. What's this guy's problem? Hmm, <laughs> kids these days don't know how to show respect for their elders. We're their teachers, we've lived longer than them. But Moriyama and her gang had to
simple that on the at the very beginning of the term. I'm sorry, sir, but I have to go. It's time to place my order. Even you're shooing me away? Some way to start the school year. I don't think my nerves can take this. Alright, I get it. You want me to order more of those cream-filled breads you like so much, right? You could have just asked. Well, he doesn't seem quite cut out to be a good teacher. man wearing a kabuto who looks like a teacher is talking to a foreign male student. Do you see? Every man must have the passionate samurai spirit within him. At our school, we encourage our students to think like samurai in order to accomplish great things. That's fantastic. The teachings of Bushido are important then as they are now. Yes, yes, yes. How may... You may not be a native of this land, but the spirit of the samurai flows through you just the same. You seem to be having fun. <laughs> Library? That's strange. I saw the map, but... Where am I? Library. You're looking right at it! How do you not see it? All you need to do is cross the hallway to see the library. It, it's not that far. Anything else? Exam results are posted here. It's a faculty office. Let's see what's here. Wait, they're both faculty office? Oh, are you the new student? 11th grade, correct? Wow, you've lived in a lot of different places. Let's see. In 1999, that was what, uh, 10 years ago? Your parents... <gasps> I'm sorry. I've been so busy I didn't have time to read this beforehand. I'm Miss Toriyumi. I teach composition. Welcome to our school. Pleasure to meet you. Wow, such enthusiasm. Have you seen the classroom assignments? You're in 2F. That's my class. But first, we need to go to the auditorium. The welcoming ceremony will be starting soon. Follow me. As you begin the new school year... He, this guy seems like one of those boring teachers that you have. That always drones on and on and everybody falls asleep. I'd like each of you to remember the proverb. If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. When applied to student life, this means... Psst, hey! The student behind you is trying to get your He came to school with Yukari this morning, right? I saw you two walking together. Hey, I have a question. Do you know if she has a boyfriend? How would my character know? He's a new student here who just met her yesterday. I see. I thought you might know, but I guess not. So how well do you know her? I hear talking. I believe it's someone in Ms. Toriyumi's class. Shh, be quiet. You're going to get me in trouble. What's up, dude? How's it going? Oh, come on! Let me introduce myself, at least. Sure, if you want. I'm Junpei Iori. Nice to meet you. I transferred here when I was in 8th grade. I know how tough it is being the new kid. So I wanted to say, hey! 
<laughs> See what a nice guy I am? Oh. Hey, it's you, Katan. I didn't think we'd be in the same class again. <laughs> At it again, huh? I swear you'll talk to anyone if they'll listen. Did you ever think you might be bothering someone? What? <laughs> but I was just being friendly. If you say so. Anyway, some coincidence that we'd be in the same homeroom, huh? Eh, suppose. Let's see. Yeah, I know. I guess that's the shortest answer. It's just a coincidence. Or it must be fate. It's just a coincidence. I know, but still, I was a little surprised. Um, hello? Are you forgetting that I'm in this class too? Clearly doesn't care. By the way, I heard you two came to school together this morning. Implying? What's up with that? Come on, give me the dirt. What are you talking about? We live in the same dorm. There's nothing going on, okay? Why are people even talking about it? Now you have me worried. People are talking about it? Hey. Um, maybe have this conversation in private? You didn't say anything to anyone about, you know what, did you? You know what? Don't tell me you forgot already! Seriously, don't say anything about last night, alright? This certainly doesn't sound shady to people who have no idea what we're talking about. It's not like this would been a better conversation if it was taken outside. What? Point proven. L last night? W wait a minute! Don't get the wrong idea! All this could have been avoided. Listen! I just met him yesterday and there's absolutely nothing between us. Jeez. I've got to go. I've got something to take care of for the archery team. But you better not start any rumors. Ah, uh, who cares? No one takes rumors seriously anyway. She's so paranoid. But hey, it's your first day here and people are already talking about you. Okay, if I'm in a new school, is it really good that people are already talking about you? talking about me believe it or not she's actually pretty popular you to man <laughs> this is gonna be a fun year I can feel it whoa check out the jocks on the run say uh, you thinking about joining a club you'd be joining as a new member though so you won't be able to apply for a little while Welcome back. Thanks. Turn on the television. Newscaster. It's a trend that just might spread all over town. Our next story is about the cherry blossoms. It's springtime and they're all over the town now. Blossoms this year were a little late. Oh, hi. What are you doing? Just looking around. Well, there's not much to see. Probably, probably tired. Huh. Maybe you should go to bed early tonight. But what if I want to stay up? Saving won't take forever. So dance, wanna put you in a trance. And it's party, boogie in your body. Want that body, want that body. Make sure you don't hurt nobody. I say, hey, 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 fill the body with a burning desire. Yeah, get up off of that I do beat. really like the music. It's a and sweet. Come on, go on, let me rock the world.
don't you hate when load screens take forever? Come on. Well, I think I'll cut the video here. This is my first Let's Play, and I hope you're enjoying it. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. This is Trajan Caesar, signing off. Some days, wanna put